Hi friends, welcome back to Scrat Skills. In today's video, we'll be making a super cool and beautiful and mostly a very easy art in Scratch. It can be one of the most beautiful arts you have made in Scratch if you're gonna make it. Isn't it so beautiful to look at? So 3D, so realistic, and super cool. So now I'm gonna show you the main components that we need to know while we are making this. So the main thing you might have already noticed is that there are three dots that, that are controlling the lines. So if you look close, the dots bounce and the image is formed. The art is formed. So um, see, like, it's a really beautiful, you can just see it again. Next, the thing is, it erases each 10 seconds. So, let's see what happens after 10 seconds. Okay, it's gonna be 10 seconds. Right now, yeah. So, did you see that? So, those are some of the main components that we'll be concentrating today. So, now let's go and start making this thing. So, first I have a blank project just with the pen extension opened. So, if you don't know how to open the pen extensions, just go to the add extension block uh, there in the left corner, left bottom corner. So, there you get this add extension blue block. You can just click on it and you can choose the pen, which will make you get some uh turquoise green colored blocks and if you are really new to extensions uh the add extension block i have sent a youtube link to my video uh to this video that will actually help you learn more about the add extension block so you can just watch that when you have time now let's go back to this project so first oops we want to delete the sprite one and go make a circle oh you know what you'll also get a circle in the you don't need to take a circle like you this you can just go and take the ball option over here voila you've got a circle next what we want to do is start with the coding so when green flag clicked we want we will also add the forever loop and inside the forever loop we will add a move 10 steps and if touching edge bounce let's see how this works oh it's just going side by side which is not something that we are looking for in this video that's why we will use point and direction probably 15 Okay, but it'll keep going in 15 only that's why we can just add this pick random block from the operators the first block we'll write minus 180 and the second one 180 there Let's try this out Okay, now it'll go in different positions there so that's something more likely you can like set it to 15 itself or any other number you desire but i just send it like that for it to go in random positions instead of staying in the same place next what we want to do is just duplicate these sprites and there good enough next we want to duplicate another sprite but this sprite won't be like the others just for not getting confused, I'm making this sprite in blue. This is called as the drawing drawing sprite or ball. Just gonna name it drawing sprite for now because it's a sprite. And we'll just get rid of these blocks over here and just keep the I'm green flag click. <laughs> And below that we'll have a forever loop too. And now let's go to the pen and add pen down. But before we add the pen down, we want it to go to the ball. 
and after that we can let go to after it went to the ball we want to go to the rest two balls too that's ball two what is that I don't know I just mistakenly did it oopsies yeah and ball three you can just get rid of that if that happened to you too and we will also add the pen down once more and we want to change the pen color by two let's try this out oh woohoo that worked it really worked can you believe it isn't that beautiful in an odd way now to make it more realistic let's do few more things set pen size to let's make it seven or eight I'm going for seven right now you can also go for eight or your desirable one and when we flat click we want to erase all that's two main things we want over here oh that is so beautiful I think the seven is leaving many gaps over there. That's why you can go for eight or nine is my choice. Okay, now we are talking. And you see those big balls? For that not to happen, we can just click on these balls and hide them. Their scripts won't be hidden. Okay, did I hide you? No. So what did I hide actually? And you can also hide this one. Yeah. Beautiful. Next, for the 10 second rule, we'll need the when green flag clicked. If then, forever, not an if then, wait for 10 seconds and then we can just erase all. Okay. Let's try this out. Okay, beautiful. And just to, I mean, like below 20 blocks. Cool, huh? Oh, yippee, that works. We have a successful, beautiful art handy. And the last step, but not, wait, what did I just say? Yeah, last but not least, you can add a background effect to enhance it. Isn't that one beautiful art? So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you had fun learning how to make this game, which is super, I mean, it's super simple to make. You can try it. You can just do it in below five minutes if you, like, keep adding. I don't think it'll take five minutes also. It took about one minute for me to make. We just need to drag and keep blocks. And I made it. Um, not one minute, I think two minutes. Okay, just kidding. So, now the last, uh, like, if you desire, you can also save it. Let's name it as rain Rainbow. Well, Rainbow Spelling Wrong. Rainbow Lines Art. There. Next, we can just save it to your computer. And just save. There. Beautiful. Now, just want to inform you all about my next video that's coming. In the next video, I'll be relating, like, relating it to the rainbow lines. Like, I'll be showing many types of uh, rainbow lines art that I've made, and you can just click, like, you can just comment down which one you want to learn, and you will get the video in below one day. So, for that to happen, do watch my video, do comment, do subscribe, and like to be the first one who gets notified when I upload the video. So, goodbye for now. If you have any queries or anything you want to tell to me, just post it down in the comments. Bye, friends!